Hi everyone, thanks for joining my channel. This is Corgi Toes. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get started on Space Haven. This is a fairly new game. Been really enjoying it. First things that I typically will do to start off with the abandoned mining station it doesn't really allow open creativity when you actually create a ship. So let's go ahead and choose that. Oh my gosh, Jesus. Jesus is here and he's a scientist. I'm actually going to keep them. So these crew members, if you ever played a game called RimWorld, they all have specific perks that make them kind of a liability. So you can kind of look at some of these. Minus 10% learning, that's not that big of a deal. Alien lover, that's not that. What I'm looking for is this person because over a long period of time, working speed at minus 10%, it's just gonna really hurt you. And so let's call him um, Michael Scott. Definitely want to make sure that everything is balanced. So make sure that these people have the right types of skills. Let's go ahead and see if we have any redundancies here. There we go. This right over here shows you some of the overlays that you must have to know. Uh, concentration of oxygen on the bottom right hand corner. You even have CO2. That's important because when you have specific biomes uh, where you're growing crops, you've got to make sure that they have a concentration of CO2 to make sure these actually grow properly. This is the vent overlay shows where gases are freely exchanged between two different spaces. Water vapor, this is relevant for when you actually build crops. There's an a O2 collector that you want to make sure that this concentrated area. Hazardous smoke, Temperature, this is really important, especially when you're building out very quickly in your ship. You want to make sure that you build these space heaters. You want to make sure you build them each time you expand, primarily because they need to act, have a comfortable environment. This is where the weapons are being stored. So we're going to actually get people that have the highest uh, weapon skill. So we got Worf over here as our weapon specialist. So if you right click, it'll show this little overlay. That's where you draft them. Draft meaning that you control their body. Um, and then we go ahead and click on pickup. After you picked up their weapon, they'll show in their inventory. Um, you'll want to make sure that you undraft because they're just going to stick over there and just not eat and ended up <laughs> pooping their pants, which is literally what can happen if they if you don't control them. So drafting is just telling the computer that you're controlling them without letting them have their own free will. The learning curve is much easier if you've played RimWorld, and so I um, hope this guide kind of helps you. By far the most important material, in my opinion, is energy rods. Energy rods is what funds this power generator. Without it, your ship will just be completely lifeless. All the systems will go down. Your food biome won't be able to generate anything and also characters will suffocate and die. So that's by far one of the most important resources. Next to that is food and water for your characters. You can see that over here. The only way you can mine that is if you go out in your main view over here, you have to find specific planets that have this specific resource. And we'll, I'll actually show it to you right now. It's this Energium. It's like this little blue crystal over here. And whenever you find specific regions in space, it'll tell you if there's Energium in a, in a given planet. If you like the content that you see, you can show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing. I try to release new content each week, so personally, it really helps me out, keeps me motivated. So thank you, thank you so much. Until next time.